of the genius candy money rant video, so today I'm gonna keep this short and sweet. TFT set one arrives and we're all hyped. We got this guy, we got this guy. Big fights are happening, it's new, it's crazy, it's overwhelmingly wacky, and we learn as we go, it's fresh and exciting, hooray, yeah. It's got huge potential and then... Now let me be clear, TFT Set 2 has some good things about it, and I'm gonna get that shortlist out the way very quick. There were a lot of quality of life updates that made Set 2 look cleaner, have a better leveling system, pretty interface, and I guess the Elemental Hex system is an original step in the right direction for creativity and innovation. I also really like the map skins that they still haven't released. Instead, we got three fucking Freljord skins that look all dark, gloomy, and identical to each other. Mm. Are you kidding me? Well, at least set 3 is aesthetically gorgeous as far as I can tell, so here's what's wrong with set 2 first, okay? Because in the second half of its lifespan, it's gone a bit stale. First of all, what the f*** is Druid? This has to be the most boring class I've ever witnessed, healing 40 on HP every few seconds. Is that it? After a few rounds of leveling up, it's barely noticeable. Steel, however, cool, huge potential here. Not much happens with it though. You get a few seconds of full damage immunity, but it never seems to go off at the right time. It never really seems to have any impact. And there's literally two characters in the game that can use it. One is Nocturne, who is turbo useless and never purchased. They should have given him this spell at least instead, because Nocturne's skill is beyond boring. Or at least give him a stun. I don't know. Speaking of stuns though, they last way too long when enemies do them, and when you do them, they don't last long enough. And I realize that sounds like a load of bollocks, but it's just the way the game feels. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me I and look at the look at the patch notes. They change glacial every patch because they can't get it right. I've been telling you from the start. I've been telling you. I made a video on this. I made a video on Glacial. I said, get rid of the stun entirely. Make it a slow, like a chill. Call it chill instead of Glacial. Predator is cheese. Woodland is good, but the Woodland champs are turbo boring. Alchemist is thematically senseless. Luna could have waited until set three with a real Diana. Cloud feels like it's never working. Soulbound is alright. Avatar is neat. Warden feels turbo weak when pitted against an enemy with a single item. Climbing the ladder is about as fun as wiping my ass with the radioactive chainsaw. And let me tell you, from Odyssey to Anime, Riot Games have thoroughly impressed me over the years. Their designers know no bounds. They are the cream of the crop in the industry, and I just love their stuff, okay? So what the hell is this? What? It's about as exciting as Tristana's Q, which is also not very exciting, by the way. Also, duplicate items. Why is this still a thing? Going into set three, as far as I understand it, it's still a thing. Uh, in the real game, you don't build duo items. If you do, if you built duplicate items in the real game, you'd get a fat report. That doesn't happen. Why are we encouraging that kind of nonsense behavior here? Set 1 was great but needed improvements. Set 2 came in with improvements but then came in with some shit boring stuff that just made everyone get disenfranchised with the whole concept of the game. Set 3 looks like it's learned from these mistakes and has come back and I have got 110% faith in the fact that it's going to be good and I'm going to start making a lot more TFT content again on this channel because I like animating TFT. It's pretty like me. Subscribe to me on Twitch television, you absolute dog.